Okay, in this tutorial, we'll take a look at using particle systems and some modifiers to create either, you know, exploded assembly type effects or just uh, explosion effects, shattering effects, things like that. I'll kind of give you a couple of options as to how you might put it together. All right, so this sphere is, for starters, I actually have several modifiers associated with this sphere. I've showed explosions before, but in this particular case, what's different is um, the thicker edges in general. So let's just run the animation real quick. It's just a simple animation, but then we're going to start from scratch so you can see it from the beginning. Alright, so it's fairly slow motion in this case and fairly odd shaped pieces. Okay, so now let's just, well, easiest way, yes, easiest way is I'll put my cursor to where that is and I'll just get rid of this object here and then I'll add another one right back in. Add a sphere to the scene. Maybe I'll scale it up a little bit and give it this color that existed there. All right, so we know the number of faces in here. It says it has 513 faces like this. So typically the way I like to work is first thing I'll do is I'll start a particle system. And I like to match the number of faces. Well, actually, sometimes it's easier. Let's go into here. Hang on. Earth's faces 512. There was the 513th down there. So if you go into edit mode, it tells you for the object itself. All right, so from the particle system, when I create a particle system, I like to match my particles to the number of faces for starters. All right, and then we'll, we'll make this explode kind of slowly. So maybe starting at frame one and going through frame 50. And we'll give it a little bit of longer lifetime. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's even 200, like that. All right, so that's just the particles themselves, and we'll give them a little, crank up the normal a little bit. It's not too fast. And let's just run this real quick and see what that looks like. All right, so there they are going out here like this, but now we have the, let me move this up. The one thing to, now they're all falling down under the influence of gravity. And a lot of times on those animations you don't really see, they just kind of, they disassemble completely and then reassemble. So we'll, let's just, for this particular exercise, we'll take the gravity effects out. We'll turn that to zero. All right, so then they're coming straight out. All right, so now with that in place, next thing we want to do is we want to add a modifier to it. So instead of just individual particles coming out, we want the individual faces to come out so we'll go over to the modifiers and we'll add an explode modifier and just by doing that it's now just takes all those faces and if I, if I just stop this come back down here you can see it does it's basically doing individual faces well sometimes you'll see it looks like two or three faces at the same time but it's actually doing it on the individual face like that and you can change that right here cut edges we just do this here and suddenly it's changing the shape of it like this all right and this makes for you know this is fairly slow motion like this I'm just if you want a real explosion effect to take place you need to just change the particles up here so it occurs over a much shorter time frame let's say f starts at 48 or 48 and ends at 50 is when it's generally taking place so I come down here and rerun it so and then the whole thing takes off like that all right so that's a little uh let's get rid of that even distribution make that random like this let's see how that helps well, that's a little bit better and then the other thing is if we go back over to the modifier tab now we have the explode modifier if you open this up you can see it says explode right here so I'm gonna just press this button and kind of make it smaller so uh, next thing I want to add to it is where is this guy my solidify modifier so this thickness allows you to change this as you go so I'll just start it up here and we'll take a look and you can see each individual piece is just a thin plane like that and if I just change this thickness I'm changing the thickness of the piece like that 
right? And so that's really pretty much all there's to it. You know, you, those two self explode and solidify are enough to give you the effects and then changing the speed and just modifying your parameters how you want it in here and turn that gravity down. All right. Well, that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson.